Tomorrow marks a milestone for the tri-state area in the effort to end the pandemic. After months of anticipation, Deaconess will administer the COVID-19 vaccine. Eyewitness News' Katie Forke joins us live now from outside Deaconess Gateway in Warwick County with the latest information. Katie? Brad, that's right. Wednesday marks a major moment in the fight against COVID-19. The first round of vaccinations will be administered. Those with Deaconess tell us what to expect with the vaccine. It's something we've waited months to hear. After receiving emergency use authorization from the FDA, a COVID-19 vaccine makes its way to the tri-state. Those with Deaconess say they're ready to tackle this virus. The, the vaccine has to be stored in an ultra cold freezer. Uh, we have a team that's been working tirelessly to set up that process to store the vaccine and, and a team also working to staff up our our clinics. The main focus now is to make sure frontline health care workers get the first round of vaccinations. More vulnerable groups will be eligible afterwards. The general public is expected to have access in the spring. You know, I would anticipate over the next several months that the public would be able to get this. Of course, we don't know an exact date yet, but um, we do expect that we'll be able to continue to get more vaccine as we use the vaccine that we receive. So. Health experts stress that the vaccine does not give you the virus. It works to help you build that immunity to COVID-19. You're not actually getting COVID from this vaccine. You're just getting instructions to build immunity against it. So a little bit of a different technology, but um, again, something that, that appears to be very safe and something that we're really confident in. And Deaconess says five clinical staff members did receive the vaccine today as part of training. Officials say the vaccine administration team just wants to assure that every step is smooth and they are prepared. Eyewitness News Daybreak will have full coverage of the first round of vaccinations at 7 a.m. Reporting live in Warwick County, Katie Forcade, Eyewitness News.